dying. I like to travel the world doing art, having fun, and meeting interesting people. I hope you enjoyed this art. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the adventures. In this one, we are in the country of Jordan. So, last episode, I was in Israel and Palestine, and since it was so close, I, it was inevitable for me to come to a special country, which I've heard for many years, full of amazing, beautiful, ancient ruins. So that's what we're gonna be doing on this episode. We're gonna be looking at all these beautiful things of uh, ancient time. Hope you have fun. Skateboard from. Damn. It's pretty cute. I like the tree in the middle of it. It's got some nice curves to it. Just really wish there was somebody I could bomb a skateboard from so I could do this mini ramp, this long mini ramp with a bum box in the middle. first set of ruins. This trip through Jordan is all gonna be about checking out ancient ruins from biblical times. Gorgeous lady of mine. Um guys, um guys, don't buddy D. You will really like these ruins. So the artifacts found in the ruins of Umqua date back to the 7th century before Christ. So that's like the year, what, 800 before Christ? It's a long time ago. It's like almost 3,000 years. All the ruins. I'm surprised these, these places still stand. So cool to see some ancient road, you know, where it led to or how it all looked 2,000 years ago. Still looks pretty though. This is a Jilun castle that has never been taken by the theater armies. And it's uh, a great example of Islamic IUB military architecture. This is the room I shall call to be my art studio. Huge windows, high ceilings, low rent, gorgeous view. Excellent company. What else could a man want? Beautiful 
entrance to this ancient city. Now this one takes the cakes for the pillars. Wow. more of a vacation and I won't be t doing too much art out here but at least I had to leave one fish bomb out here at the hotel I'm staying at boom simple but fun Project. Palestine. Palestine. And uh, now we're going to the south to Madi Was? Madi Ram. Madi Ram. The desert. The desert. Fun. We got a Riani driving us. Is this your first time driving outside the United States? No? Driven in Canada maybe? But have you ever driven in Jordan? No. All right then, so it is a special occasion. It's getting very deserty out here. Whoa, okay, there's a third one who's gonna defend him. Holy shit. Get him from the back. Oh, he's joining the other two? So it's two against two instead of two against one? That old guy's fierce. Yeah. <laughs> Why are we so entertained, buddy? We missed the best part though when he had his legs, the guy was upside down. Ah, fifth. Sixth. Seventh. So we are arriving to Wadi Rum and we can see the dark silhouettes of mountains in the back. I can't wait to wake up in the morning and see uh, how beautiful this place is. Wow, you're in the Bedouin tent. 
there's an extraterrestrial planet outside that calls you along free breakfast. <clears throat> Leaving camp. This is our Bedouin guide for the day. He's taking our sandboard. Dresses with much elegance. I thought it was a, an actual jeep. It's, it's like a pickup truck with uh, some kind of si situation. Nice I just found it. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. It's like real marble. The driver just told us that here's the location where they filmed. Matt Damon's movie, The Martian. Which is totally understandable because it's such a alien kind of situation. They left the pods from the movie out there. It looks like it. Nicely. Are you part of an ancient tradition? You're in the desert, the home where you like to be. Sometimes you gotta carry a human or two, you don't mind too much, hopefully. You guys enjoying the sun, enjoying the nice sights. You're not gonna spit on me, right? pit stop at this place where they say that Lawrence of Arabia is still there. It's officially the biggest garden of prayer rock stacks I've seen. Even more than that one time in the panel. Oops, I just killed one. I hope they will forgive me. This is the last spot we're hitting on this tour. There's this beautiful carving here. From the year 1915 maybe? My friends have left me here in this spot because there's these uh, abandoned, half-broken structures and I still got a little bit of spray paint so I'm gonna drop a little something here. It's a little galactic dude. got stuck and Ariana and Jalal are going to look for help. 
to get us out of this sand pit. I guess this day she doesn't want to let us go yet. Alright, some help has arrived. Alright. Uh oh, now the car won't stop. We did it guys. Yo! Now we can go to the next part of the journey. So we're arriving to the seaside town of Akaba. Looks like a Miami-ish version of Jordan. So we've arrived to the town of Aqaba. It appears this is their local skate park. Because this kind of looks like a little mini ramp situation here. Definitely skatable. And we go in and look, this looks kind of like you could grind it. This looks like fun boxes. Where's the skaters though? Or is it just an info center? I love you too, man. So, people are really showing us love here in Aqaba. There's not a lot of people, but it's sunny and it's pretty, and there's beautiful birds, even garbage. Hey, hey, I'm on vacation every single day because I love my occupation. Hey. I'm on vacation. If you don't like your life, then you should go and change it. Hey, I'm on vacation every single day because I love my occupation. Hey, I'm on vacation every single day, every, every single day. Every single day, every single day. Where are we today, Ariane? Spring Hotel. What are we going to see? <laughs> um, today we will see Petra. Ooh. Be careful, the cops are coming for you. Starting our journey through Petra today. We're already seeing beautiful sights of caves of ancient civilizations. Beautiful mountains. Hell yeah. And we'd rent ourselves a little pickup truck to take us to the spots in a quicker manner. More fun that way. We're classy like that. Right, here's where our bumpy ride has left us off. Top of the madness. Ready to cruise down to beauty and glory.
we're gonna be looking through it for a couple of days. Um, it was built by the Nadetayins around 4,000 years before Christ, so it's 6,000 years old. And it's just pretty fucking epic. It's carved on uh, the limestone that they found out here. Sandstone. Sandstone? All right, thanks for correcting me, Ariane. <laughs> and yeah, it's just pretty much gorgeous and so stuck to discover it together with my love. So. The monastery looks small, pathetic in comparison. I love Petra. Woo!
after Petra, we wanted to get a little bit more nature in our systems. So we looked for a spa along the road that had some hot springs so we can take a dip in some really boiling water. All right, they're supposed to divide us, but we're gonna break the laws and have a woman. Filthy, filthy woman with us, man. We're super clean, man. I'm just joking. How hot is it? Ariane has now proven that she is a man too. By dipping yourself in boiling water, it's beyond the capacity and enjoyment yeah, yeah. of any man. I talk about the hot spring itself, it's really cool. It's, it's super hot, but it felt really good. Um, my skin almost looks like there's like a rash breaking out out of it, but that's just, I guess that's uh, detoxifying and healing. The women's is separated from the men's, but the women's was like in this house thing with no lights. It was really dark and black, and the water was black. You can't really see how deep it is or what color it is or anything like that. And the second I walked in there, it just reeked of a lot of piss. And I didn't feel like being there. So I walked out and one of the guys said, I guess, work here or something, welcomed me to join my friends in the men's spring, which is way nicer. It's outdoors, there's sunshine glistening in some parts of it. You can see it, there's three pools. Um, yeah, it's interesting how different they treat the men versus the women here. Um, in some instances, you know, you can see where women are treated very well. And, but then there's other instances where you feel like they're being shunned. Well, that's where our trip ends, at the super trippy airport in Amman. Ready to go back home, super grateful for a beautiful trip where we saw so many beautiful things and had a really beautiful romantic time. So this is the season finale. I hope you enjoyed our first 36 episodes. Uh, if you haven't seen them all, I invite you to check out what we've been doing in the past. And let's just hope that the world gets back to normal so we can keep on traveling and enjoying so many blessings, sharing some art, looking at culture, meeting interesting people, and all these beautiful things that we sometimes take granted in our life. But uh, I'm always just so grateful and that's why I've always been sharing every step of the way. So thank you so much, the viewer, for watching this and I hope to see you soon enough. Blessings! Hey, if you enjoyed this episode, please click like and also subscribe so you can catch my future episodes. Have a good one. Peace.